I'm going to talk about and analyze the short story called Ingula. We follow a woman called Mary who walks home um, to her house and then she stumbles into an old man who was lying on the street yelling the name Angula and he asks her if she has seen this Angula and then she says no. But in a way he gets into her mind she can't stop thinking about why he's calling Angula. So she walks over to him and asks him asks him who Angula is. And he starts telling her about um, Angula, who is his daughter, um, who was taken from him um, to go to this to the colonies that the uh, white people had in Australia, where they taught um, the Aboriginals and Native Australians um, how to be white and how to behave and all the all the and the culture and the how to like be correct and so on um, and since Angula is a half castle like Mary which would which means that she is half black and half white um, yeah she was taken to these schools or colonies to learn to be white basically so uh, Mary says that she feels this connection with a with a man immediately but she doesn't understand why it why this happens and she tries to ignore it because he's quite old and not gross but he's a bit uncomfortable to look at so she doesn't want to feel this connection with him um mary is a as i said a half castle which means she's half black and half white she lives with her husband in a house that uh, um on a land that she had bought from herself, which she's very proud of. She also went to these uh, schools when she were uh, a child because she's a half castle. So she also learned how to be white and how to behave correctly. So, which she found a lot of proud in. Um, she's very proud that she's a white woman. Um, and her husband thinks it's weird that she's so proud of this because she should be proud of her origins, but she's very she's behaving like a white woman. She's cleaning after herself, and she listens to the music and walks with her in their clothes and follow her. And then we get to hear the story about Angula. The old man was married to this woman, um, which then guess I guess cheated. He cheated. And she cheated on him with a white man, and then got this her daughter Angula. Um, and then she gives Angula to uh, to the white man, um, which makes the old man very angry because he loves her, Angula. So he uh, quickly gets her back from the Ant Mountain. But um, when he finally founds, finds her, she's very sick and poorly and is very close to die. So uh, he takes her home and makes her mother breastfeed her so she will will get healthy and feel better again, and which she does. But then um, she grows up between the originals and native um, Australians, and they can't understand why she looks a bit orange in her skin because she's half white, half black. So they, they bully her until a, a ranger comes by one day and starts yelling at them and be like your skin doesn't define you it's your your actions that defines you and if you want to be a part of this troop you have to prove yourself then he takes her away which which makes the old man very angry of course that's wrong One day when he comes back, he um, he can't find Angula anywhere because um, her, his husband, I sorry, his mom, his wife, has given her to the white men, um, so he so she could go to school and learn how to be white, which again makes the old man very angry, and he starts chasing her, and he runs to the nearest big city. Um, where he asks the police where his daughter is, where they're like, this isn't your daughter because he, she's white and you're black. And he just starts laughing at, uh, at the old man because 
she can't get her back because she's going to the school. So he starts chasing her um, through the country to find her for 30 years. But it, of course it can't because she's gone. And she, they also get a new name when they become white. So they lose their original names. So he then decides to go to the city where Mary lives. And he's like, if I can't find her here, I'm just going to stop. And I'm looking for her. And, the, and then the spirit. If we take a look at Mary. She's raised to be white um, at, this, at the school that she went to. But deep inside of her, she still has the original Australian part of her. So when she meets the old man, she, like I said, feels like connection with him. But she doesn't want to accept it or do anything about it. She has a suspect that is his, that she he is his dad, that and that she's in Gula, but she doesn't know because, as I said, she got a new name. She doesn't want to accept or take action with the feeling that she's getting with him because she's finally being accepted as a white woman and she finally lives the life that she wants to. But he, when he starts to sing a song that he sung about in Gula, she thinks about this other native called Blind, Nil Blind Nilly, who also sings the song. As she says, fields in another way that the white music, white music never could. So she still, the black part of her is still inside her, but she doesn't want to accept it, and it makes her confused because she's raised to be white. Native Australians um, are very angry and confused about the whites and why they are taking their children to these schools because they still, of course, love their children and they just want to live in peace. But yeah, they don't understand why the white have to, have to take their children and make them white because they have lived their religion for a very long time um, and then all of a sudden these white men are just coming into their country be like you have to behave this way which they don't get of course of course um, the white thing that the natives are confused and they don't they don't think that white and black should be mixed neither does the aboriginals so that creates a conflict between them um, yeah and they're not, the whites, they think what they're doing is doing is correct, but and they just want to help them, but instead they just make them confuse. They just make them confused um, about their identity, their Aboriginals, and so this is a story about um, what happens um, when you have half and half person that has two identities. Mary Ruth identifies as white and black, so she has a conflict whether to choose um, to be live the white life and just continue as she does right now, or whether she should just accept that this man might be her father and then go live with him and live her original, original life. Yeah.